An eventful day on NPFL March Day 10's rescheduled fixture that saw the Peace Boy school talisman Albert Hilary consolidating on his goal scoring form yet again. A day that saw Umar Muhammad sparking a frenzy of a delighted fan base, coupled with Adam Yakubo's fans' favorite starters' cementing performance, with a day to forget for touring centre back Moses Adeku, as well as a day cracked with bags of questions to ask on the refereeing performance of Ahmed Rabiu on a crucial day in just that coincided with the presence of top dignitaries across the polity. After 26 minutes, Moses Adiku was caught in the melee against Rivers United's Nima Wagwa in the box and the ball spilling off his hands to attract a penalty call that Andy Ope thankfully converted in the 27th minute to put the visitors ahead. Having received a pass from Olawale Doyoni, Harrison Eba drives in and appears to have been clipped by Rivers United Endurance Ebedi Berry to signal a penalty call after 42 minutes. Albert Hilary steps up to coolly convert for his ninth MPFL goal of the season. After 53 minutes, the Peace Boys pressed for the ball against Rivers United's Osage Oniso Dumea and Augustine Okejaefa, which resulted into a throw-in. A chance Daniel Itodo took advantage of to unleash his set piece with Moses Adiku heading into target and Muhammad Umar subsequently tucking into the opposition net to put the Peace Boys to one up. Ten minutes later, Moses Adeku gets on a one-on-one -on -one against Samuel Antwi, who shoved from Moses gets him to the ground, resulting in a second penalty kick for Rivers United to present Endurance a Betty Berry a chance to level for the Vistas and leave scores at two all heading into the deep. In game time, Daniel Itodo unleashes a set piece and Moses Adeku rises but tries to apply the hand of God. But unlike Diego Maradona, he appeared unlucky and as a result received the matching order for a second bookable offense failing to earn legendary status with scores at two all rivers united came close to netting the winner when nima Mwagwa sets up a bucket adamu with a chance to finish but a terrific effort by ama john denied the visitors the luxury until the moment when a sustained press from the peace boys saw harris in a bar combined with adams yakobo who finds bernard mundi with a pass and attempt to shoot rebounds back to him for a combination with albert hilary who lays to adams yakobo for a thunderous left-footed shot that beats osage and sends fans to raptures All efforts to get Rivers United's Stanley Eguma to speak proved abortive, while Platinum United's Mbwasmangut react. Uh, it's difficult to play with a man down, but I must give credit to the boys for the character they kept throughout. You can see the player was late in coming for the ball. It's not when he will challenge the referee. So that I can understand that because uh, the, the subsequent card that we used to have was out of uh, maybe ignorance or we try to challenge the referee's decision. For the nasty tackles that floated amidst without genuine caution or punitive action, plus the resolve to award two penalties that appeared hugely contentious on the evening, amongst other decisions. Critics say referee Ahmed Rabi's performance calls for massive scrutiny of intent and purpose. The Peace Boys face Enyumba International of Aba on Saturday for a match day 18 MPFL schedule in Jaws.